Hi. I'm sure many of you are working with InDesign to create magazines and books and brochures. And when you're working on large documents, there is a need to you know, better collaborate between copy editors and designers. And if you've heard about InCopy, InCopy lets you uh, create assignments for your copy editors and uh, editors. And you can assign them textual content or textual frames to work on. And you can keep your InDesign file separate so that your designers can keep on working on the InDesign file. And your copy editors can open the textual content or the textual frame on InCopy and work from there. So InDesign and InCopy work in collaboration. InCopy would be incomplete without InDesign. So let's actually have a presentation or an example, and let's see an example of how this really works. So this is the browser that I was working on. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've created a textual frame. I've added an assignment for that textual frame by right-clicking on it and clicking on in copy, then add to assignment. I already had an assignment called plan your stay. You can also create new. We will see that in the next step. So I've opened the file in, in copy. This is called plan your stay. And if you compare both the files, the InCopy file, this just has textual content. It, it does not have any fonts or any look and feel about it. However, the InDesign file has color. It has font applied to it. So let's do this. And in copy, let's actually add some content. Some textual content, I'll go ahead and save the content or check in. I'll go back to InDesign and as a graphic designer, my role would be to update the content once it's done. So as you can see, magically the text has appeared in the frame. So now what happens is your InDesign uh, designers can keep on working on the graphical, graphical content. They can create, create frames and you know textual content or textual frames and then assign it to designers. So let's actually see an example of how do you do that. Now let's actually create a text frame, small text frame and as a designer or as a owner of this document, I'll click on in copy, add to assignment. I'll create a new assignment. I'm going to name it right. Click on OK. I'm going to quickly open that file. Here it is. File will open up in, in copy. <clears throat> like this. Right now, the textual frame is blank. I'm going to start typing something. Before typing in, in copy will prompt me to check out this file. That means that the frame would be locked in InDesign. No one else can fiddle around with it. I'll be the only person who's working on this textual frame. If I go back to InDesign, it's, it'll show that this someone else is working on it. If you click on it, it'll show who's working on it. So right now it's me. If it's someone else, it'll display the name. Okay, so let me make some changes. Something like this, and quickly go and check in. That saves my content. As a designer, it'll show me that there's an update available. It's not up to date. 
<coughs> go to in copy and update the content. Magically, this has appeared. Now, as a designer, uh, I can go ahead and check out the file so that the copy editor is not working on it in case I want to, like this. So once I do this, this frame would be locked and then back in in copy, it will show me that someone else is working on this file. So I can go ahead and you know, modify the look and feel of this document, probably change the font or something. And again, once I'm done, I will go back to InCopy and check in back to make this text frame available for other people to use. So this is how the collaboration works between InDesign and InCopy. InCopy is a really powerful tool, which gives you independency to add textual frames and assign it to various copy editors in your organization. They can be a single document owner who is a designer, main designer, and he or she can continue working on the InDesign file while, while copy editors work on the textual frame. There's also a feature available in InDesign, uh, which automatically versions the InDesign file as well, but that's for another session right now. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day.